I wanted to talk about The Voice with you. Look, I'll insert my personal view for once, and that's just on the song, The Voice. Can't stand it. If that <laughs> makes me unpopular, so be it. Um, but it's a very well-made ad, isn't it? What did you make? I mean, this could sway a few people. Oh. It's got this sort of emotional pull. Um, what, what did you make of it when you watched it? it, it it's an incredibly slick, well-produced ad. Slick's that, a bit pejorative, though, isn't no, no, it? Well, it's, it's a good ad. It, it, it's incredibly professionally done, and it reflects the very significant amount of corporate money that the Yes campaign has from Qantas and BHP and Rio mm. Tinto and the top end of town, and they will massively outgun the no side of the case with their spending. There's no doubt about that. But all the polling shows, including one in The Australian Today, that the more people learn about this, the more sceptical they are of the merits of it, the sceptical about the whether it will provide the benefits it's promising to to Indigenous Australians, mm. the sceptical about the risk that it poses to our constitution and the way in which it is dividing our country right now before it's even been put in the constitution, let alone once it's enshrined that way. So um, I think the Prime Minister really does have a final window of opportunity here to recognise the trajectory that this is on and change course. I mean, he, he has said... Do that well, he point. has said sure. that if this goes down, it will have terrible consequences for Indigenous Australians and Australia's international standing in the world. If he really believes that, mm. he should look at this polling and say, do I want to put the country through this? He's got a choice. The writs haven't been issued yet by the AEC. This is a final opportunity for him to change course, and I think he should take it. It's interesting to, to note, though, I mean, we all remember the same-sex marriage postal survey. There were sort of warnings around what it would do. It, it did seem to bring the country together and also made Australia's gay community feel more accepted. Is yes, but there's a key it, difference, is, Tom. Is, is this, could this do the opposite for Indigenous Australians? Is that how they... They're going to feel at the it, end of it, this? It could do the opposite. And the reason why we can make an assumption about that is every poll in the lead-up to the same-sex marriage plebiscite showed the majority of Australians, in fact, a comfortable majority of Australians, right. supported well, same-sex marriage. When this started, there was a very strong support. Yeah. W would you feel any responsibility as helping to drive the no campaign? We, we have that, warned the that Prime feeling Minister. on the Sunday after the referendum? We have warned the Prime Minister at every point along this journey that the road he has taken, it, choosing the most extreme voice model available, not willing to make any amendments to reduce the constitutional risk, not willing to sit down and negotiate with the opposition to re reach bipartisan consensus. We've warned him at every opportunity that this is where this is headed, and I fear that's the, the course that it's on. All right. But before the writs are issued, he can pull it. He still has the time to do that. James Patterson, thanks for your time. Thank you.